Welcome to Bold Guy DIY. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick trick in order to get the mouse pointer to disappear from your HMI interface on your next Raspberry Pi touchscreen app. If you've been watching my videos lately, you'll see that I've been playing with the Python module PySimple GUI quite a bit, enjoying that and all the features that you can use to create buttons and different inputs and all of those kinds of things. And using the Raspberry Pi with a touchscreen is such a great extension of that capability because you can create something that looks quite professional and also has functionality that would be much more inconvenient or expensive to use with traditional hardware. However, when you compare the layout to a commercially available device, you'll see that the one thing that stands out, no matter how good you make it look, is that there's a mouse pointer that shows up every time you touch your finger to the screen. That mouse pointer sticks around and it makes it look like there's mouse control needed in order to click the buttons. Of course, because Raspberry Pi is a computer, that is the mouse control that you would use if you had a physically connected mouse. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of the mouse pointer, but still have that interactivity so you can get that extra 1% that you need to make it look like a professionally designed custom touchscreen interface. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. For this video, I'm gonna assume that you've already made a full screen uh, graphical user interface that you're going to use. If you haven't seen my video on that yet, there's a link here above. And as you can see, even though the touchscreen works great, you do get the mouse pointer still sitting there for a few seconds after you push each button. Now, that's not a big deal, but it does look a little unprofessional. So we're gonna create a file here that is gonna be a desktop entry, like the one I did before to auto run. It's gonna use the exec command, and it's gonna to refer to unclutter and add an idle zero switch to it, and that's going to tell it not to idle for any time at all, for zero seconds, which is immediately going to go into the hidden mouse pointer mode. It's great to also pair this with the auto run that I showed in a previous video, the link above, so that when you reboot the Pi or boot it up in the first place, you're going to both load your full screen interface and immediately put the mouse pointer in that zero idle mode. And so we're gonna copy those two files that we created to the folder that is the home pi.config and the auto start folder. Now if the auto start folder isn't there, you just create it, name it auto start, and then put these files in there. And then all you need to do is reboot your Pi and it should auto load your full screen graphical user interface and hide that mouse pointer. I've sped it up a little bit here just so you don't have to watch the whole reboot process. And as you can see, you get a quick flash of the desktop and then right into the graphical user interface. Now I moved the mouse there so you could see there is a little bit of ghosting, but as you can see, as you touch the buttons, sometimes you get a very rapid appearance of the mouse pointer, but overall it's almost a seamless, perfect mouse pointerless existence with this touch screen. And it looks just like you're touching the buttons without a mouse command being interpreted. That's all there is to it. Create those files, put them in the doc config folder, and you're ready to go. If you don't need the mouse pointer to be gone, be sure to remove that file from the .config folder as it can make your mouse clicks feel a little bit disjointed and weird when there's no mouse pointer visible. So now you can see how easy it is that just by adding one of these desktop extension files to the config folder, we now get something that's going to load when the desktop interface loads and something that's going to produce the effect of no longer having that mouse pointer. I know it seems like a small thing, but if you're into development and you want everything to be just perfect, you'll appreciate it when there's no longer any indication that a mouse was ever needed. If you like this kind of content and find it helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments for other suggestions for tips and tricks you'd like to see. I have a bunch more project videos on their way, so check back every week and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to be notified and you'll find out every time a new one comes available. Send me an email or follow me on Twitter, my information's in the description below. Until next time, in all your DIY interests, whether they're little hacks like this one or full-blown projects, don't be afraid to be balder.